Hello fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 121. Today is August the 31st, 2020. On today's show I have whips, I have haul, I have whip go plans for September, and I have knitting. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, water for me, mm. your craft of choice, and let's chat. So how was everybody's week? Mine was very, very relaxing. I went to my mom's on Saturday. I made her a huge pot of chili, so she is set for chili for at least a couple of days. I'm going out there on Thursday, so I will go back to my Thursday rotation. I did not have Little Man and Littlest Man on Friday. I had taken them that day completely off, but they did come and visit me for a little while, not too long, about an hour. On Saturday so that was really good to see them and little man is littlest man is holding on to his bottle so he's taking a bottle much better which is good and yeah uh, let's see the motorhome was supposed to be started working on it on Friday last week but the guy that was fixing it had to rush home so they're supposed to be doing it today and the hubs and I have an appointment at 3.30 to go over there. And they're going to walk us through some things, show us things that need to be repaired. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can get the uh, motorhome back by Friday so that we can take a three-day weekend. It would be nice because he doesn't work next Monday. So, three-day weekend would be awesome sauce. So, we'll have to wait and see how that works out. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, I got my hair cut. I had gone to Michael's at the Bentley Mall, which we call the Bentley Hall, because it's just a straight line. There's not a whole bunch of stores, but there's Safeway at one end and Michael's at the other. And um, there's a hair salon there, and there was nobody in there except for the stylist. So I said, can you cut my hair? Do you have time? And they said, oh yeah, sure. So I went ahead. I had wanted it shorter, but this will be fine. I just need to blow dry it or something so it doesn't flip out like this <laughs> and give me that weird flip out until it gets longer but I am relatively happy with it um, I did have to fix it a little bit but you know that happens sometimes Ooh, I'm gonna fix the bangs here uh, let's see what else not much because like I said last week was lazy I had a restful relaxing weekend Hope you guys did too. So shall I start, stop blathering and show you guys what I did. So I am so happy with how much I've gotten done so far on my Mirror Monday. So I have one more Monday for Mirror Monday and then that's it. So for September, or no, I'm sorry. I have September on the brain. For August, I am working on Touching the Autumn Sky, and this is 32 Count Stellar by Picture This Plus. And look at how well you got all of that filled in. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I started working on the back of her dress. So that is where I'm at on this. So one more day of stitching on this, and then she will get put away because I believe she's already been called for whip go. So that's very cool. And then I went ahead and pulled out Seeking a Refuge by the Scarlet House. I am stitching this on 32 count Platinum Lugana by Swigart. And let's see, where am I at? I got the rest of the windows completed. I finished up the bird, the birds on the top, and I'm starting the green, second green um, boundary line, whatever you want to call it. But I didn't do a whole bunch on this, but I'm happy with how it's going. And the more I look at this, the more I think I am going to. Uh, put a color in the brick and it might be a gray but I'm not sure yet oops alrighty 
And then my whip go, my final whip go for August was Gypsy Queen. And I want to thank you guys for the nice comments on the Gypsy Queen. I really am enjoying this a lot. I didn't look to see what this is, but I'm almost thinking that this is either natural or chocolate, but I'm not sure. Milk chocolate. So here she is. I worked some more on the bodice of her dress. So I'm really happy with how much I got accomplished on her. And I don't remember if this is the last time for her or not. I, I think she's been called for Whipgo, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. I should have looked that up before I talked to you guys. And I should have had her off for Q-snaps because if she is done, she doesn't need to be on Q-snaps. So here we go. I'll show you guys the whole thing here. That is where she is at. And if you recall, I did change the lightest tone of her skin to be a little bit darker. Because I, in the picture and, and on her, it was really a bright so it's almost like she was had white face paint on her face, and I just didn't like how that was looking. So I'm very happy with how she is turning out. I'm going to have a lot of mirrors to work on for next year. <laughs> Probably next year and the year after that, but next year is my no new starts. I do need to go join that Facebook group. I have not done that yet. Okay, and then I worked on the Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. And this is on 32 Count Natural by Zweigert. And if you recall, I took out the two ladies and I moved the flowers over. So, I worked on the second flower. I got quite a bit done on the second flower. So, before there was just a little bit of the greenery and then the stalk. So, I added a whole bunch to that. So, all that is left is the bugs on the top of this, the butterfly on the other flower, and then the bee and then the flower down here. So, I'm really happy with how that's turning out. I really like this color. So, yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These flowers are so, so pretty. Very, very happy. Okay, put this away. All right. And then I had my two sows that I worked on. And I left my iPad. This. Is I'll talk about that in a second. So the the feeling wicked. That's by Ursula Michaels, but it's you can find it at uh, Linens. Is it? Shoot, Lakeside Lakeside Needlecraft, right? Yes, Lakeside Needlecraft dot co dot uk. You can find this pattern. And it's feeling wicked. So. The second clue came out last week, so I went ahead and threw that second clue in. I did change it up a little bit. I changed the green that you see should be white, and I decided that I wanted it to be different, so, because the potion bottle should be green, and then I just went from there. So, I'm really happy with it, but man, this one, I do not like that lettering. It was a pain. So I'm hoping that there's not a lot of that long stitched because they're not, that's not a back stitch. Those are long stitches. So I'm really hoping there's not a lot of long stitches like this in the rest of the pattern. Or I might just change it up if there is. But that's Feeling Wicked. And this is on 32 Count Copper Penny by uh, Picture This Plus. Sorry. I could think PTP. <laughs> Picture this plus. And then the last thing that I worked on last week was the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries Midnight Way Sal 
And the second uh, clue dropped today, and it's really cute. So if you wanted to, to check that out, go ahead and check that out. I don't have my iPad with me, or I would show you. But this is on 32 count lamb's wool that I used for my dad's uh, remembrance piece. So the little bit of changes that I made. I didn't put the second line down here because that's just two lines. It's the street. I figured that's good enough. And I changed the eye color on the pumpkin and the birds and the bat. So, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. And I'm really happy I finished this late last night. But yeah, I think it's going to be so, so cute. Yay! All right, so that is what I stitched on this last week. Okay, so um, purchases. I did quite a bit of mm, quite a bit of damage this last week. I went to Michaels and Joann's and bought floss for my October stitching. So my October stitching, except for one pattern, is all ready to go. I am still waiting on that pattern. I thought it was going to be in today, and it didn't come in today. So you can see that next week. But my last order from Victorian Motto Sampling Shop, Sampler Shop, came in today. Yes, I decided, I made the executive decision not to get any more because I really have looked through my stash of, of floss and I have a lot of different floss that I really should use up. So I decided that I would take a break from this and I did order Garon Toten Bags um, Grime Guard of the Month Club and that I was able to get into and you will see that next week. So here is the floss that I was able to, the last of the floss. That's pretty good representation too. Okay, so we have Heirloom Larkspur. Heirloom, oh no, this one's Pom Pom. Nice pink. This one is Heirloom Blue Bells. Um, Heirloom Dahlia. That's a nice red. I'm really happy with that red. Heirloom Marigold. And Heirloom Garden. So, very nice. I am sad about it, but in a way I'm not. I'm happy that that's all because I really don't need it anymore. Okay, and then I got my first order from Stitchy Box. And I'm getting two months of Stitchy Box and then I canceled it because I don't necessarily like this thread. So this is Threadworks um, Silk. And to me it feels like cotton and it's five yards and it's over five dollars a skein. And I thought they would be more variegated than they are. So I've decided that I don't really want it. So I've already pre-bought this one and one more, I think. So I, that one is supposedly going to be shipped in the next 10 to 12 days. But here is what we've got. That green is really blowing out. But these are all green. So this one is Mint Julep. This one is Grass. Key Lime and Emerald. So those are the threads that I got. I also was looking on Facebook and one of the stitch alongs that starts tomorrow I went ahead and picked up and this is Dark Queen of the Sea Sal. It's a 12 month and it's by Autumn Lane Stitchery has it, and I believe that was an et that's Etsy, and it was designed. Yeah, it was designed by Autumn Lane Stitchery, and I like some of Autumn Lane Stitchery's patterns. So under the sea fabrics is has the floss and the bead, not the floss, the fabric and the bead kit. I did pick up the bead kit. It hasn't gotten here yet, so when it gets here, I will let you know. But it has a Swarovski um, a pendant, it's got pearls, 
Delica's Bugles and Twisted Bugles. It also has uh, three skeins of Petite Treasure Brick. So I think it's going to be very nice. And I went ahead and got all the floss for it. So I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. So it's got some really pretty dark purples and just all sorts of beautiful floss. But it starts tomorrow, September 1st. I am putting mine on just a 32 count, or no, this is 28 count. Irish Linen by Charles Craft. The uh, fabric that Leslie um, dyed for this is a beautiful purple and blue. So you can check that out. But I can't wait to see what this is going to be. And I'm really hoping it's not a huge monthly thing because I got enough monthly things, but I just couldn't resist. It just looked like so much fun. And okay, and I believe that was all I purchased, like I said, except for the floss that I needed for different patterns. So Shall we go on to plans? I think so. Okay, so the Mirror Monday starting in September is going to be Seaside Kingdom. Let's see. What am I stitching Seaside Kingdom on? Good question. I am stitching Seaside Kingdom on... I have no idea. Come on. Sorry, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. I'm stitching this on 32 count Deb Bloom Belfast by Picture This Plus. And here is where I'm starting at. So, let me move it back. I have a good starting point. There's the girl, so the boy needs to go in and the bottom. And then there's a pretty blue that goes on here. And you have to finish up all of the sand castle. But yeah, that is where this one is at. So this is my September month mirror Monday. And then the two patterns that were called for whip go are both new starts. One is a Mirabilia, and one is a Lavender and Lace, so that's exciting. So, one of them is Madonna of the Garden. Okay, and she is being stitched on, right here, 32 Count Storm Lugana by Picture This Plus, and I will show you that fabric. So, that's going to be really, I kind of like, it's kind of that bluish hue so I think that'll be really pretty and it's put on like that so I think it'll be really nice okay so this one will be the first two weeks of September oh it looks like I need to surge this this must have been right when uh, it started the uh, COVID stuff started and they were not surging. So that might be what that is. So I will have to surge that myself. Oh, I'll zigzag it because I do not have a serger. Okay. And then for the second two weeks of September, I will be doing this pattern, which is called Nantucket Rose. by lavender and lace and I will be stitching this one on 32 count lavender mist I think. and this is the piece that I started silver moon tea on and then I frogged it all out so this is what I'm going to be putting her on so I think it'll be okay but that is my last one. So that's super exciting. So September has two new starts, no, three new starts in September. So yay for that. 
Okay. And knitting. I knit on the Chevron baby blanket again. And I'm just holding two, uh, uh, two balls of yarn together. And here's where we're at. Gnome and what was the other one called? I can't remember. But there it is. And okay, now this is where I was last time. So I did a little bit. I didn't do as much. We did not have knit group at all. We didn't even discuss knit group this last week, which I, re I realized it that we hadn't even discussed it. It, it was like eight o'clock at night. I went, oh, shoot, we forgot about knitting. <laughs> Oops. I do feel bad that we didn't get together, at least a, a Zoom meetup, but yeah, that was kind of sad, but that's life. Sometimes you just get too busy or too lazy. I was kind of lazy. Other people were busy. So, which, you know, that's what happens in the real world. So, looking around, I have nothing else to share with you today. I hope you guys are all staying safe. I want to thank everyone for their comments last week. I was another bad podcaster and did not answer my or comment back. I'm sorry about that, but I did read them all. So, I will comment... I will comment this week, and if you leave me any comments, I will do that. I do want to say that someone commented to me about parking on the B, so it won't drive me crazy. And I used to park. I'm going to have to go back to parking. Sometimes I like parking, and sometimes I don't. I thought I would try not parking, and yeah. When the full coverage is, you really do need to park, I believe. Especially since, though, the B is on a 20 by 20 grid instead of a 10 by 10 grid and the magic guide fabric. So parking on that 20 by 20 is really essential, I believe. So I might have to go back to parking. But anyway, I guess I should say goodbye. So I hope that you all are staying safe. I hope that you're having a great fall and I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next week. Bye guys.